Welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to install SQL Server 2019. We will also learn how to install SQL Server Management Studio, which is also known as SSMS. So let's get started. So before I begin, I just wanted to let you know some of the prerequisites of installing SQL Server 2019. First of all, you need to have a minimum hard disk space of 6 GB or greater. Your RAM size needs to have a minimum of 1 GB, so you need to have 1 GB of RAM available. You can only install SQL Server 2019 on operating systems, uh, which is Windows 10 or greater. Or if you're installing it on a server, then it needs to be on Windows Server 2016 or greater. At the same time, uh, you need to ensure that you have your minimum .NET framework installed. Uh, I would suggest having it installed on uh, .4.72 or greater. So let's begin. So this is the link to the description of downloading SQL Server 2019. This is directly from the site of the Microsoft. I will link this in the description below. If you scroll below, you will see two major platforms in which you can download this. The first edition is the developer edition and the second edition is the express edition. Now with the developer edition, you will get the full feature. However, this would be limited. Therefore, you will not be able to use this on your production environment. In the case of Express Edition, you can use this in the production environment. However, you need to be mindful that you only get 10 GB of storage space with 1 GB of RAM. So consider this based on your preference and on your needs. For the purpose of this example, we will go ahead and we will install the Express Edition. To download the edition, what you will do is just click on download now. And so the download will get started. Once the download has completed, you will have to run this exe file. So double click on it in order to run the file. And so you will be required to select the option over here, the package that you would like to download. The Express Scope package just comes with the SQL Server engine. It does not come with the reporting services. And if you want to go ahead with the Express Advanced package, then this will come with the engine and also with the tech services together with the reporting services. So we will go with the Express Advanced package as we would want to also install the reporting components of it. At the bottom over here, you'll select your download location. I'll leave this to default and I will click on download in order to begin. The download will get started. I will pause the download and I'll resume once the download has been completed. And there you go, our file has been downloaded. We'll double click on it in order to run this executable file. All right, so it will ask you where would you like to place all the extracted files. So you, you can leave it to the default like I will do, or you can change the path. So I'll leave it to the default and I'll click on OK. All right, so I have just changed my file path to my D drive um, and create a separate folder. So I hope that's OK. Now I will open this folder in which I have extracted it to and I will double click on the setup exe in order to run the setup. And so you have the following options. If you like to upgrade your SQL from a previous version to 2019, you will run this. But in this video, we will talking about a fresh installation. Therefore, we will not go into this stage. We will go ahead and click on new SQL standalone installation. So we'll click on to that. And so you'll get this pop-up, you accept, you can read the license agreement if you like to, and then go ahead and click on accept the license terms. Once you have agreed to the license terms, you'll click on next. And it will do its check-in process. Under the feature selection, you can come in and select the features. I would not want to install the machine learning so i will deselect that but you can come in and select whichever features you would like to install i'll click on next to proceed so once you are here you can set up a instance name you can go ahead with the default or you can create your own i think i'll go with I'll just add a few I don't mind and so the instance id will be the same as your instance name it will automatically get updated once you're done, you'll click on next. All right, so under the server configuration, you can set up the services and the startup type. So you have the SQL engine and the SQL server browser automatic, which would be running 
automatically on automatic way so if you do a restart or something it will automatically start so i will proceed with the next step so once you're here you can set up your authentication mode i would highly recommend you to set up a mix authentication mode that is your sql authentication and also your windows authentication so my windows authentication is already configured what i would do is i would also enter um, a password for my SQL server. So the default password, the default account would be SA account. And so you can put in, you can place in your password over here. Do note that the password that you are entering over here, it needs to meet the password policy. Uh, if it doesn't, it will give you an error. And so if you don't meet the password policy, you'll get this error and you'll see that at the bottom, it's written that the SA password does not match meet the strong password requirement. Let me quickly change that. And let's proceed. And now it will start its installation process. Again, I will pause this and I'll resume once this has been completed. And so once your installation has been successfully completed, you'll just click on close and you should be able to view your, right, that's completed. And if you go over here, you should be able to see your SQL Server 2019 instance available. Now, in order to run the SQL Server, you will need to have a SQL Server Management Studio. And in order to download that, you can simply go to the Installation Center and click on SQL Server Management Tools. What it will do, it will, it will run the link for your installation site. And if you click on that, it will take you directly to that installation or to the download site. And so in order to download that, you'll click on free download over here and your download will begin. So I'll resume this once the download has been completed. Okay, so once your SSMS has been downloaded, you can double click on it to run the executable file. So now you can select the destination of it. I'll leave it on default and, and I will click on install. And so the package process and the downloading will start. Now I will pause this and I'll resume once it gets completed. All right, so once the download has been completed, you will be required to start your machine for it to get completely set up. And so once you have done your installation and you restart, you can open your SQL Server Management Studio, and then you will be required to select the instance that you would like to connect. If you only have 2019 installed, then it will show you the default instance. However, if you have a previous version installed then you'll have to click over here select browse for more go to the database engine and select the instance in the drop down option so the instance that you would select is the one that we have installed and so you click on select that and you click on connect in order to connect and there you go you have your database installed so i hope you have enjoyed watching this video if so please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel I will see you in the next video.